Right, we are now going to have a look at the heart. The heart is a muscular organ that pumps blood around the body. As we can see from the outside of the heart, we can clearly see the coronary artery that supplies blood to the heart. The heart tissue is not able to extract oxygen or any nutrients from the blood that passes through the inside of the heart. It gets all of its nutrients from the coronary artery. The brown and white deposits that can be seen around the heart are fat that has deposited. The fat is very, very hard and this restricts the ability of the heart to pump blood. The more weight you put on, the more fat that is deposited and the harder the heart muscle has to work. We can clearly see that we have the two atrium. The atrium are fed by the veins, the vena cava has returned blood from the body and enters into the right atrium. The pulmonary vein returns blood from the lungs after it's collected oxygen and enters into the left atrium. You can also see the two arteries that leave the heart. The pulmonary artery carries blood from the heart to the lungs. The aorta carries blood from the heart to the rest of the body. On the heart, when it is dissected, you can firstly open the left side of the heart. The left side of the heart receives blood from the lungs and then pumps it around the body. It can clearly be seen the thickness of the muscular wall. This thickness is because the heart has to pump the blood around the body from here. So it is leaving the heart under high pressure. Inside the heart, you can see the valves that are linking the atrium at the top to the ventricles. So these valves control the flow of blood through the heart. You can then see at the top the aorta. The aorta is the artery that leads away from the heart. The walls of the aorta are thick and elastic because the heart blood is leaving under high pressure. The right side of the heart is much thinner, the walls. This is because the blood is only being pumped from this side up to the lungs, and so the heart doesn't have to work as hard on this side. As you can see clearly, there is a big difference in the thickness of the walls. Again, inside you have the valves that control the movement of blood from the atrium into the ventricle. And again, you can see at the top that you have the pulmonary artery taking blood from the heart to the lungs. Again, being an artery, the walls are thicker and more elastic because they are carrying blood under high pressure.